In an earlier video I did with Q Dragon, I mentioned the ethical dilemma theists would be faced with if they were convinced their God was instructing them to commit the grave sin of murder, as he's instructed many humans to do according to the Bible. I strongly doubt the majority of religious people would follow through with such an instruction, even if they did hear a clear voice in their heads claiming to be their God. I firmly believe that their likeliness to follow that command would slightly increase if the voice was telling them to kill someone they loathe, like in Joshua chapter 6, and their likeliness to commit that commanded murder would be all but nullified if the target the voice gave was a loved one, as we see in Genesis 22 verse 2. And one has to wonder how religious people who regularly worship and pledge their lives to the God they believe in could possibly have the gall to deny a direct request from that God, even if it was to kill one of their loved ones. Most will assure themselves that no God worthy of their worship would truly intend for them to murder their loved ones. Therefore, if a voice spoke directly into their brains, claiming to be God and instructing them to commit an act that they consider vile and wicked by their own moral judgments, it could not be the voice of God. They would then dismiss it as being the voice of Satan or just some dark figment of their imaginations. This also applies to the interpretation of God's written word. When theists find a moral dilemma within their holy text which they completely disagree with, they typically dismiss it as a mistranslation or misinterpretation and they find a denomination that agrees with them, or attend a non-denominational church that ignores such touchy subjects and sticks to good old-fashioned support of delusion. Plenty of Christians, for example, have no problem with homosexuals, and some even agree that they deserve the right to marry. So, they write off parts of the Bible that condemn homosexuality as obsolete. Cherry-picking the parts that they like allows them to enjoy the comforts and majority status of their popular religion without the inconvenience of obeying it. Obviously, a god they worship wouldn't tell them to do things they disagree with. Not their god. So my extended question to deeply religious people the world over is this. Be it by direct communication from him to you, or by your interpretation of your holy text, what has your God ever required you to do that you didn't already naturally desire to do? What has your God required you to approve of that you don't personally approve of already? What has your God required you to condemn that you didn't already have feelings against? How many of you who abhor homosexuality would honestly be perfectly fine with it if the Bible didn't condemn it? How many of you who interpret your holy book to mean that murder is wrong would be perfectly fine with murder if your holy book neglected to mention it? How many of you who've had sex before marriage truly agree that the God you worship today still considers you worthy of hell for that? For those of you who are extremely uncomfortable with life guidelines handed down to you by your holy text, but you obey them from fear of eternal punishment or hope of cosmic reward, I suggest that you reevaluate your faith and question the worthiness of a God whose morals conflict with your own. For those of you who find your interpretation of God's moral code to be in perfect harmony with your own, perhaps you should question that astonishing coincidence. Perhaps you've projected your personal beliefs about life and society into an invincible figure to further vindicate and empower them, and you don't really bend to the will of that intangible master you get on your knees for each week after all. Perhaps you're right, though, and God does just so happen to agree with all the same things you do and despise all the things that you do, but that's a hell of a coincidence. Just keep in mind that all other religious people who you disagree with feel that they have the same coincidence going for them. Convenient, isn't it?